How's it going guys? Welcome back to other in the time since I originally covered the game Nitro Rad ended up doing a video on it pretty well like the same day I think coincidentally it put a ton of extra attention on the Kickstarter the Kickstarter was able to double its goal It's now ended. There's a bunch of extra like chapters and secrets and content that are be being added Thanks to those stretch goals. The game is also now confirmed to be coming to the switch all of this is like a ways off. It's going to take a while to actually fully develop the game. But I just want people to know that the Kickstarter was successful. Super awesome. I ended up running a poll on the channel that was like, Hey, here's three different games that I recently have done part ones of. Which of these do you guys want to see more of? Other was the one that ended up winning the poll, but just so people are aware, uh, at various times during like the first 24 hours, which is when like 99% of the votes in those polls happen, Grimm's Hollow uh, was tied repeatedly and even took the lead a few times, and then all of a sudden, in the last like, I don't know, little stretch of the poll, this game pulled way ahead, so I don't really know how that happened, it was pretty interesting to watch it unfold, but... I'm not ruling out covering Grimm's Hollow, because that game was very cool, it's pretty short, and there seemed to be uh, a notable audience for that. So people who are interested more heavily in Grimm's Hollow, be aware that I, I likely will still come back to that game. When you said we were going on a field trip, I wasn't expecting dead bodies. Hey, it's educational. I'm gonna have to remember a little bit about uh, some of the different mechanics of fighting and everything. It's been a, a little while now at this point since I actually played. Nice posture. Oh, whenever I hear people talk about posture, it makes me want to stand as straight as possible. I know, I know I just have atrocious posture, and playing games does not help. There's a lot of books here. Looks like internal records, shifts, prisoners, that sort of thing. Wow, that's a lot of booze. No thanks. You don't drink that stuff? I need another vice, like I need a hole in my head. Looks like this guy went from a quick nap to a dirt nap. What about this guy with the sword stabbed straight through his brain like the king of hearts? Which king is it? The suicide king? Ouch! <laughs> That's all you have to say. Rejuvenation sigil direct lay link. Strictly for use in the event of future degeneration. Another shelf filled with... <sighs> Get out! This thing is filled with old military rations! Yuck! Those are super old. Let's see. Most of it seems compromised, but this biscuit is perfectly fine. Did he even hear me? He's not gonna eat that, is he? I'm gonna eat this. Gross. Gross, dude. Why? <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of much more reasonable food to eat out there. You don't need to rely on that. Well, that wasn't much of a puzzle at all, was it? <laughs> that was uh, especially easy to get through. Just stand right on it. Oh, okay, I didn't even see where we popped out on the screen for a moment there. Oh, this forest track that's going on here is a banger! <laughs> the music in the game has been great, but immediately this song is great! The warmth of the fire sinks into your body and soul, all HP and MP restored. Would you like to record your pro- yeah, 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 save. Uh, but now, how, how did I get back? How did I get through there? Okay, I got to try and lock that into mind because that seems like that's gonna be super easy to forget that it's there I want to make sure I, I'm not Missing out on things and, and forgetting to like return to that I think even the demo itself has quite a few like secrets and things laced into it It's definitely something that's gonna be a major part of the main game and a lot of the stretch goals involved Expanding the secret content within the game Hey customers, nice to meet you, I'm Ruby. I hike around looking for stuff to sell and people who buy. Take a look and give me a holler if you see something you want. Just uh, don't tell anybody you got it from me. Uh, what, what, are you, what are you carrying currently? Invigora, uh, good for health. A Focoid, helps you focus. And a Mush Biscuit. This seems like it would be better than the ration biscuit that he was choking down down below. You can buy one if you want, although you might not like it. It's jet, it helps boost both things. I think some health recovery would probably be worth it. I'll, I'll grab an MP thing as well. How about one more of those and one more Invigora? I don't know where else I'll, I'll end up needing um, food or, or buying. Okay, exit, 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 exit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know where else I might end up needing to spend money. I feel like I could probably get away with just spending it. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know you guys at all. Fine. I, I guess we'll just... Keep it to ourselves then. Sorry to have bothered you. 
it's gonna be tough for me to remember precisely where I have and haven't been. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna immediately pop back down below here. Just uh focus on exploring. Oh, so that's why that's there. It's not that it was like a puzzle. It's just that if you found that access point early on, you wouldn't actually be able to do anything with it. Yeah, but I do I do want to explore down here a little bit more. There's like that giant chest and things. Uh, if, if I leave now, I might never make my way back to here, so it's probably a good idea to, to investigate a little bit more first. Just head a little deeper into the dungeon. Hmm, maybe we're gonna be trapped. It looks like a closed eye. Cool. Gotcha. Can't shoot the bubble past it. Need to take a staircase to the other side there. And same thing. Oh. Am I gonna have to access those from, like, the outer world? Maybe, maybe that is as much exploration in this dungeon as there's actually gonna be? I wouldn't- I, I'll probably- I'll probably walk further around and find something. Okay. So... <laughs> no, uh, remove those so I can see what I am maybe trying to accomplish here? Uh-huh. Stand on there. Simple enough. Oh, I have to be able to move things around so I can push one of these blocks. Ah, uh, this reminds me of, like, Rush Hour. If anyone... There we go. If anyone had never played that, it's kind of like you have a grid with a bunch of different sized cars and different facing different angles and everything, and you have to, like, move them all around to let the red car through or the taxi or whatever it was. It was a fun little, like, physical board game. Uh, I remember playing it... Quite a lot. First strike. I wasn't even intending to. The enemy's caught off guard. Great. <laughs> I uh, am gonna have to completely remember how to like battle and everything now. I, I, I think it should be relatively straightforward. They regain composure. Talk smack. Get whacked. But yeah, I, I haven't played in a while. <laughs> uh, it turns out I'm, I'm as good as I've always been. Yeah. So long, suckers! Alright, I'm still great at this. <laughs> I, I I think the different combination of attacks and everything isn't that... I'll, 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 I'll get back in the swing of things quickly. Well done, crew! Didn't get hit at all during that. I think I largely want to avoid battling if I can. Great. This seems a little more complicated, doesn't it? I, I can't even push that that direction. It only has the one line it can go through. I'm seeing if there's anything that is clearly going to be, like, the target block to move. I mean, I guess I guess it's easy enough to reset things that I might as well try. Well, that was a pretty obvious wrong first move to make. Up. Left. Um, something here is kind of working. Okay, move this to the side around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I came together, and I have my little exit point there. Alright, that wasn't so crazy. Nice heap of cash. I'm gonna try and first strike this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's huge. Getting the first strike makes, like, a, a crazy difference. That you only have to worry about dodging, like, once. Oh man, I, that wasn't great. I, I was too busy trying to do fancy, like, drop kickings on him and stuff, and I didn't land that many attacks, actually. Oh, shit, I hate this one. This one's so much harder to actually do. Bleep. Damn it. <laughs> you don't have that much health. It sucks uh, when you make those little mistakes like that, because it's... Ugh. I managed to get I managed to get that last uppercut right at the end there. But yeah, each tiny little mistake is health lost, and your health pool is just so limited. Uh, it feels more limiting in this game than so many other like RPG style games I've played before. It, battling battling is rough. Oh, I didn't mean to to chat him up there. And now I've kind of put myself in a crappy situation because now now he got the first strike. Actually, he got the first strike, but I was still able to attack first. Damn it. <laughs> okay, am I better off just running? Damn, he still hit me. It still hit me one more time right at the end there, I think. Big mistake, buddy. I did so much damage with Gershom in the first in the first part of that there. Like I kicked that I was almost I was close to killing it in that first little showdown. Uh where are we going? Still looking for that lay point. 
I'll bet dollars to donuts that it's somewhere in this old wreck. Level up! Oh, okay, so th this should have happened immediately after the battle. I just had kind of interrupted things there. Nice! Alright, that's cool. Now I'm starting to get a little stronger. Hmm. Is there any... I, I might have to be able to push something to this area. That is not a pushable block. Ah. First step out of the way. Move this guy. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to have an access point to do anything else. It has to be that that I push. Like, I wouldn't be able to get... Because of all the holes, I wouldn't be able to get to the other side of those blocks. So has that lowered something for me here? What is it? What did that accomplish? Ah, I lowered these. I lowered these, of course. Damn, these these puzzle sections are a little bit larger than I was expecting. I tried to get I tried to get the first strike on him. I don't quite know how I missed it. Ah, come on, corner him! Damn it! Yee. <laughs> I want, I want to get him a little... Fuck, they moved just a tiniest, tiniest bit too fast. I, I was hoping with, with Gershon there, I'd get him co cornered in that little area where he wouldn't be able to get away from me. And I'd be able to do, like, max damage. I don't want to run too fast from them in that attack pattern. Because the more spread out they get, the harder it is to, to dodge what's going on there. I'm so close to being able to kill them in one, almost always two. Two little sh fights. The, the less that I can make it, the better. Damn it. Did I get first strike? He... The enemy's caught off guard. I, it didn't show the animation of the axe, but I was swinging with it. And it looks like I did manage to get it. Shoot. <laughs> that was pathetic. That sucks. Uh, there we go. Okay, use use a powered-up strike to, to hop across that. That was brutal, though. Uh... uh it's so hard to get away from these with no damage. Come on, axe. Come on, come on, man. I gotta, like, uppercut jump. It's very difficult to reach. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Some of that stuff gets really intense. I hope you don't have that much health, man, because I'm... <sighs> now I'm going to be stuck w with at least one more. Oh, I forgot that. I, I forgot that you could do, like, a dashy jump like that. Can I do that here? Dash, dash, dash. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I gotta dash through the air like that. Damn it, I tried to ground stomp him right at the end there. Nope, nope. Alright, you can't really outrun the axes. It's not a it's not a great strategy. <laughs> that was a well-landed uppercut. Not only did it get me over the, the hill there, but I also just bashed the living shit out of him. <laughs> it's really fun. And we cursed him leveled up. Please tell me you heal when you level up. Uh I, I should probably inspect. You don't. You actually don't. That's rough. Uh, I don't want to have to use my, my healing stuff just yet. I also feel like maybe I shouldn't move on from this little puzzle here just yet. Like, there might be, there might still be a way to do that. No, not a clue. I don't see at all. <laughs> I tried messing around with it a little bit more. I was curious if there would be a way to bring the bubble down or something like that. I don't even see how that could be how that could be pulled off. Oh no. If I if I just reset reset that other section. That seemed like a good idea. That I I was gonna bounce it around, but now I can't can't get behind it. No no no. It's that is the right idea. I'm just going about it slightly the wrong way. Check this out. I was making it so much more complicated than it had to be. It totally slides across the screen, and it'll be in the correct column to, to land on that button. Awesome. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I didn't give up on that. Scatter. Unleash a barrage of weak blasts. So who who do I, like, equip that to then? That it's a, is a wizard skill? Like, he, he just automatically has that? He, he has one equipped. All right, sky chase dash of the enemy to slam into them. I'll try. I'll try and use the scatter. It seems a little new and different. I have quite a few things. I did end up buying some before as well, so I think I should probably try and heal up a little bit. 
Yeah, it's just better safe than sorry. Okay, now, now I can move on past that. Luckily didn't uh, revive any of the enemies in that area. And boom, made it back around across there. So that's, that wasn't that complicated. That wasn't that much. We should be able to blast through this dungeon here like safely within this episode. I think that's that'll be a reasonable goal to take on for us then. Mm. I try I tried to snip past slip past the guy and he managed to uh, to cut me off. So no no first strike bonuses or anything for me. Oh, this one's I managed to get away with this one last time, but it was pretty narrow. All right, all right, it's it's not too difficult to kind of like goad those, goat them, goad. What's the right word? <laughs> but it, it's not too challenging. This one, okay, okay, I'm getting a little better, learning how to maybe consistently not get hit ever. That's the main thing that I want. Just trying to get fancy, didn't really work. Damn it, I, I, I keep forgetting that you can do that dash, and I do it at the wrong times. Nuts. I wonder if I should try, I should try and charge up and use his sca scatter move thing that I just uh, gained. I gotta get better at that dodging, though. Oh, it's so useful. <laughs> it's hard to just get the double tap off in time, though, to, to pull it off. And sometimes when you're panickedly trying to not die, you end up using it times you don't intend to. Ah, I tried to get the attack off. Doesn't count. Didn't do it. I, I get like hopeful that maybe I, I, there just wasn't time to witness the actual animation, but that it still happened in time. Oh, this is the hardest move in the game. Oh, okay, if I jump to the right, rather than like in place, then you're like going against the movement of the rope. There it is. I can finally, seemingly reliably dodge that one. Oh, charge up. Char oh, okay, maybe I don't really remember how to charge up attacks properly. Shit. Because <laughs> I, I was pretty sure it would have been a simple thing to do. All right. Now I just have to never fight uh, another enemy type again. I figured out how to easily deal with these two. Now, please, <laughs> please never throw anything else at me. If it never gets more complicated than that, I'll be just aces. <laughs> just keep it, keep it simple, please. Ha! Ah, seemingly so simple. Wait a damn second. <laughs> it's probably as easy as that. That's the first step of it. Now, mm, oh wait, this shouldn't be too... Oh, maybe this is less straightforward than I thought it was. Because I was thinking if I push those up against each other, that's fine. That's something. It doesn't quite do it, does it? I have an idea. That's not... Mm, I'm going to play it out regardless. So that you can see what I'm trying to do here. But then I'm stuck with this. Uh... Is there any way I can stand so that you... Ah, he doesn't count. He doesn't... I can't I can't manipulate that in that way. That seems like I'm on the right track for getting this bubble in this position. The right track, but obviously not totally right. Okay, I, I just... It was just one that I had sent off in the wrong direction then. The way I kicked this one up off this wall was the right idea. The level layouts are done in a very creative way that don't just easily show, like, these are the walls that are going to be important. That was fun, I swear. If I see another one of those again, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> but it's not always apparent exactly what you need to move around and what parts of the map are important, and I think that's well done. That's good game design. That it's like it just looks like a standard room. There's nothing showing you that these are the walls that you'll need to utilize. Like, it makes you think, are you kidding me? Just more one after the other. So, so many puzzles. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's stressing you out so hard. I bet there's a super precise order that ne this needs to be done in to, to work properly. Because, like, different things are going to drop in different orders. See, having the back one drop first makes me think that that's probably the incorrect first step. Like, you... I don't know. 
It depends. It depends whether or not you need to bank off of some of these. For example, if I were to set this up in this way, then I can hit this one very specifically. But which does that drop? It drops the middle one. Okay, so going left to right, it's the top, middle, bottom. And I don't currently have a good way to hit... Ah, this will this will be the easiest one to hit into into the first step there. So down it goes. Uh, mm, let me uh, let me try something here, because now now it's super easy to get the the left blob that I have not moved yet over to the right hand side. It would just be across and down. But I need a way to get something to here. Maybe I have to do that. Maybe I have to set that up first. This one is eventually destined to head that way regardless. Yeah, yeah, all right. I think this order of operations makes a lot of sense. These puzzles are really doing it for me. I'm really, I'm really liking what's going on here. Because now I have that one all like queued up, ready to go. It'll act as my blockade to drop this guy that wasn't that difficult to work out, actually, and it, but it still felt satisfying. There's a very healthy balance of, like, good puzzle design, uh, but n not so impossibly convoluted or frustrating or anything. Oh no, I'm having a little bit of controller drift issues there. Hopefully I can kind of correct that. It was only happening in that one screen. I'm good. I'm good for now. And I still managed to get the first strike out <laughs> as well, which is, which is just rock solid. Maybe I should, uh, use a little something... I'll, I'll use a punch. Godlike. Godlike. That's like the first time I've done that. And I just nailed it. The, I got the timing of those perfectly and I had never even seen it before. It was just crazy reactions. Ranking doll. <laughs> what does that even mean? I wasn't, I didn't even realize I was being ranked in these battles. It makes me feel dumb. Enemies caught off guard. You're get I, I don't mess with us. Proceeds to run in the completely wrong direction. There. Oh, you can tell that this guy's like armored. It actually you could hear like plinking off of him. But my my axe is like weak against him. Wizard was able to do way more damage. Ace ace on that one. Ah uh, shit! I don't know this thing's attack patterns. Damn it! All right, that one seems like just keep moving. If you try and do any like confusing. Uh, direction changes confusing any any jukes little or or big it seems to not be a good idea I was trying to do an air dash you could tell it was building up speed I thought that it's that would have worked it was the right idea I think I think you probably get better rankings with like more varieties of attacks and things that you do okay that one's not that one's fine I can dodge that guy the one where it whips back and forth is clearly more difficult to deal with. Damn it. Oh, shit. This one is like uh, when you have like your VCR or whatever and it does that bouncing boxes around the screen and you're waiting for them to, to hit directly into the corners. Like, let me put my fingers in the corner of the screen and then it ricochets. You want to less nestle nicely into those corners. <laughs> ah... Punch, superb, superb, damn it, botched both of those. I I managed to kill him, but I actually would have done more damage if I just attacked him properly. I, I think, I likely, I likely would have. 25 was pretty weak, and he seemed to be kind of strong against that enemy. He was definitely doing more than Gershom was. Hmm, that didn't achieve anything, did it? I got... I got no ideas there. I keep accidentally using the bubble when the the little battles start, rather than the intended um, axe axe swing to actually start things properly and gain the advantage. Yee. Damn it! Damn it! Got to get better with those dashes. Oh, he's he's quite injured actually. I got to be very careful about that. Shit! Shit! I don't want to be up there. Attacks the wizard. Good. 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 He. He has a little bit more health to spare at the moment. I'm gonna fight. 
I'm gonna fight because I'm hoping that I can just finish him off. Oh yeah, easy, easy. I, uh, ranking brash. I didn't want to risk that going to another, another round of battles. I should probably, I should probably use... I'll use a, it's three and three, so yeah, I'll, I'll use the mushroom biscuit. Ooh, I didn't realize his portrait changed as he was getting more, like, geared up for battle there. I gotta stop, I gotta stop using the wrong button. <laughs> Alright, that time, that time I managed to get the right thing. Damn it! I also keep running in the wrong direction when the battles start. There might be, there might even be something that indicates... Red? Red is probably the enemy? Yes. Okay, so that's that's my indicator, something that I can actually look for and, and be aware of. Ah, oh, superb! I feel like I was close. He's, he's probably like a hit away. Ah, uh, yeah, that's some good dodging. It was a little bit more than that. <laughs> I, was hoping, I was hoping it would be one big, awesome finishing move. I could feel real hardcore. Real efficient battling. Hmm. I can't imagine there's a way that this puzzle loops back around that room with the chest that I wasn't able to access. Can I push? Yeah. I totally, I bet you I can totally push those. This will ricochet off of it, right? Yeah, okay. That works just how I thought it would. Uh, I have to move you up one. This is actually a, a relatively straightforward puzzle. As soon as I knew, confirmed that that was how that worked. Not bad. Don't even have to edit around that one. <laughs> it's pretty rare that it takes me an, uh, an... Oh, you can stun him with the bubble. Now you can run in and get a first strike. I botched it that time. But it's, uh, it's pretty rare that it takes me like a long, uh, excessive amount of time to solve one of those puzzles. And most of the time, I'm able to just... I like I like when I don't have to edit, because when I edit around it, you guys don't know. Maybe I spent three hours trying to solve that puzzle. For the record, nothing in this game has taken that long, really. Uh, but you never know. So I like when I can, I don't know, show off and, <laughs> and beat it on like a first attempt like that. It gives me great personal satisfaction let's see if I, I can I can pull this one off just as easily so I know that that first one is in the right place I probably just want that out of the way okay there need this needs to be hmm see this is where it's gonna get a bit trickier because it's not no, no, no. that might that might be all it is <laughs> I actually uh, kind of misread the map a little bit there and didn't see how that would fit together. That one was almost easier. I, th these ricochet ones are a little easier to pull off almost than some of the other things that the game has been putting us through. I almost wonder if it was anticipating us doing it in a different order. Like that by doing the right side first, those were the more challenging puzzles. It's a possibility. It looks like I have to actually go up and do this one first or else I'm going to cut my cut my access off. Like, once that was pushed into place there, I wasn't going to have a way to get to it. That should work, right? Oh, nope. No, no, no. Moving... I, I have to move that back into place. I had to move it out of the way so I could properly do that. But now I'm all good. Rock on. These big chests seem like extras. Rebound. Fire a shield that returns to you. And that would be, that would be a Gershom ability then? Let me, let me investigate your guys' biz. What's going on? Upgrade. I have points to spend. Why is body flashing like that, though? Physical damage. Upgrade that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe it's being affected by the ring. Something like that, I'm sure. Uh, magical damage. Affects drop rate. Prices and more. Amount of MP used for battle skills. Physical health. Don't run out. Yeah, actually, upgrading health would be huge. That's that's big. I definitely I definitely want to upgrade that. The wizard already has a little bit extra there. Uh, his, uh, doing a little bit more damage would be good as well. Okay, that was worth it. I'm glad I I'm glad I investigated that. This guy adds to body and luck. That's probably that's probably why that stuff is blinking. He has that atta uh, attached. 
Use your axe to spin in circles, fire a shield that returns to you. I'll equip it. I haven't really been playing around with the special abilities very much, but I'll equip it so we can test it out at the very least. And, oh, there's one more little battle to be had. Come on, bring it on. There we go. Walk straight into my axe. Makes it a lot easier for me. I caught this guard off guard. At least he looks like a guard. I would, that's what I would name him if I had to come up with an enemy type name. I have the upgraded damage. It doesn't seem to be uh, overly noticeable currently. This is this is one of the easier ones to deal with. <laughs> and like out of out of all the enemies and everything. There, I can maybe notice the attack difference a little bit uh, in Gershom against this guy though. And dash. Oh I thought if I ended with that dash right at the end there, uh, that would give me just the right amount of time. Sometimes I get spamming the attack button a bit too much when I'm not actually lined up. Shit, I ran right into that. Honestly, the first time I had to deal with this, I was kind of impressed that I didn't get hit at all because it seemed like it should have been more difficult. I was a little bit wowed because I was like, oh, that I, I can't believe I got away with that. Maybe it's easier than I thought it would be. No, I think I just got lucky once. That one is does seem a little tough, actually. He's getting there. There is there is good reason to keep... Uh, to actually do these fights. Because these upgrades seem like they could probably make a pretty major difference. Do you know, I, I'm going to upgrade damage again. I, I feel like I kind of might as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll toss a, a mush bisque over to Wizard. He's kind of he's kind of struggling a little bit there. I used a few of his skills. He took a few hits. Nice. Good good final place for the episode here. Hold up. It might be a boss fight or something though. My wizard sense tells me things might get dicey up ahead. Make sure you're prepared for battle before we go any further. Yeah, I'm I'm going to save and I might even go back up to the top. And I, I'm gonna go buy a couple things first. I'm sitting on a lot of gold right now. These things that I, I've like definitely previously chopped multiple times before will respawn with with rubies and things like gems inside of them. So it's actually it is worth it to break them like every time, even if it feels a little excessive. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I yeah, look. I want to look. Uh, I'll buy like three of these, maybe one more of these, two, two of those, one more health guy. There doesn't seem to be anything else, any other important place to spend money, so I, I, I kind of feel like I might as well just dump it all out there and and just be fully prepared. I'll save up, then then I'll have like my full full health back and everything. And if something goes horribly wrong, then I have that to return to. I'm kind of coming in with this after the fact. I thought that the boss battle would be a good place to, to end things off here, but the way the story kind of spins out and continues on afterwards, it takes away the ability of having like a good episode cutoff point. So right when we, we dive back into the next episode, we're going straight for the, the battle here on the other side. You guys can look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.